Yo, what's good, you guys? Back from another video, and today we got an upcoming Black Clover game. Um, it's called Grand Clover. Yeah, we're making another video on Grand Clover. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Grand Clover, Grand Kaizen, they're gonna be the same thing, but actually, no. The name Grand might give you guys PTSD of Grand Kaizen, but this game will be different. To start off, the game already has a lot of content, and the combat's really good. The PvP combat is kind of like a mix of GPO and Deep Woken with some little tweaks. We also got a large variety of armor and weapons. Let's see how many we got. 1, 2, 3, 4... Uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, oh wait, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, with over 25 weapons and armor. And although they have a lot of weapons and armor, we haven't even gotten into the most interesting part. Now this is all a legend, but I talked to a developer and they said in the game they have bosses, mini raids, dungeons, mini events, random jumping events, and different types of quests. Which to me seems fantastic because you don't have to be fighting a bandit over and over and over again. You can go, you can go to another quest and you can do like a maze, um, maybe like something like Osu, maybe something else like that. But for now, all of this is just a promise, it's not confirmed. Now before I show y'all some gameplay, I'm just going to show y'all some screenshots of the game, the mobs, different game modes, the map, and basically just the game's content. So yeah, enjoy. Right, so here's our first look at the actual game. This is the owner fighting a boss. It's called Necro X Death, Keeper of the Tower. Now I'm pretty sure this is one of the basic bosses because they have a dragon. Here's a screenshot of it. But it's still pretty interesting to see one of the bosses play. They also have a posture bar right next to the HP right there. If y'all can see it, it's like the yellow bar. And I'm pretty sure the owner noticed something about um, parries taking longer cooldowns. And uh, yeah, let's get into the exclusive information. So I asked the owner a couple of interview questions, and here's how he responded to each one. Is what is your game's unique value proposition? Which basically means that how is this game unique compared to other games? The second question is how will progression work? The third question is how does PvP work? And the last question is will there be 1% items that you have to grind for? And I'm gonna be honest, I'm too lazy to read this out, so I'm just gonna have an AI read it, and then y'all can listen to it, and yeah, let's get straight into it. Overall, I won't say the game is something unique within the whole video game industry, but I do feel like Roblox is missing some games that capture the whole MMORPG feel and vibe, which is what we are trying to achieve. Grand Clover won't only involve fighting. I want it to be about everything. Finding friends, exploring together, solving puzzles, building an economy for the game, cooking, brewing, crafting, doing achievements, etc. I also want the game to be playable for everyone, no matter their specs. So game performance is a thing we constantly try to improve. Progression-wise, we have a leveling system. Our game is loot-based, so getting good loot, upgrading it and enchanting it is a good way of increasing your character's power. Our skills also have levels and upgrades. Upgrades can change the way a skill behaves, and by leveling up the skill, you increase the amount of damage healing it does. We also have other things you need to take in account like mana leveling, which is increased by using skills and extracting mana from environmental objects. In terms of how you get stronger and level up, we also offer a lot of options. Discovering areas, doing dungeons, doing raids, crafting, cooking, brewing, playing instruments are all sources of XP that allow you to get stronger. Onto this ad, the fact that I really want a lot of player-to-player -player communication, which is why we added a marketplace where PPL can list up items. This topic is still being worked on since our game has been mostly PvE-based from the start. We do have parrying and blocking, special attacks, lunges, and soon we'll have weapon skills as well. Parrying is not as strong as it is in other games, since it has a cooldown. Blocking, on the other hand, is pretty strong considering armor and other type of loot can increase your blocking capacity. 
Skill-wise, we want to add a lot of status effects and skills that work well with each other. I was always a fan of those skills that go like, Skill A applies one stack of XX. If you use Skill B while an XX stack is active on the enemy, consume the XX stack and deal 20% more damage, which adds more thought behind the skill usage instead of button mashing to maximize the damage. This was a thing we switched up. Instead of making the grind part challenging, we decided to make the actual gameplay part challenging. By this I mean, boss fights will be hard and you will fail. You won't do it first try. Since this will be a thing, the drop chance for rare items won't get lower than 4 or 5%. I don't want people to beat the same boss over 50 times just to get an item. I want the boss fight to be hard and entertaining and the players to get the item after a few stressful tries. I also put a lot of focus on PvE stuff. In a lot of the dungeons you will need to cooperate, or the run won't go as smooth. There are certain dungeons that require a lot of teamwork, and yay, that's basically just the gist of it. And yeah, I'm really excited for Grand Clover. Hope it's not similar to Grand Kaizen, and uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.